It's a fly love song. To the effect of nothing, effective fronting is what I don't allow. So let me tell you something. For everybody, today I'm gonna to be doing what's in my dog for July 2009, and uh, everybody does mag reviews for everything. Does this, so I thought I might as well do it too. And um, all right, let's get started. All right, first I have Finder, and everybody that has a Mac knows what that is. It's just where you can find anything that's on your computer. Then these are my two primary browsers, Safari and Firefox. And I still don't know which one of the two I like better, but right now I'm leaning more towards Firefox just because I've been using it more, but Safari is starting to get better and better, so I may switch over to it. Then I have iChat, which is what I use to communicate with people, and um, it's like AIM. It's actually the same thing. Then I have mail, and that's where I go to find my mail for my Hotmail account. So it's a lot easier for going here instead of just going to the internet and then going to your account. Then I got Transmission, and it's uh, my torrent downloader. And uh, I like this one better than uTorrent and uh, and all of the other ones just because it has a simple interface and it's just a lot easier to use and so far it's been working pretty good then I got Frostwire and it's what I used to download music and sometimes videos but mostly music then I have Handbrake and I use Handbrake so that I can um, so that I can put it so I can get uh, movies from DVDs and put them on my computer. So yeah, I use that to just to rip DVDs. And it works really good. I like it better than Jack the Ripper. Then I have Casey and Screw. And Casey and Screw is just, um, it just has a bunch of serials for different apps that you can use. And it's really good. I, I would recommend that one because it's probably one of the best ones out there. Then ScreenFlow, which is what I use to record right now. Then I have Pixelmator, and it's basically the same thing as Photoshop, but for the Mac. And it's it's not as good as Photoshop, but it's still pretty good, you know, simple use. Then I have Photomove, and that's, I don't know why it's there, I never use it, but that's just to take pictures of yourself and stuff like that. Record yourself if you want, same thing. Then I have iTunes. And that's just my music. That's where I keep my music and everything. Everybody knows what that is. Then I got iPhoto, and that's where I store all my pictures and everything. And it's pretty good. Then I have iMovie, and it's where I customize my videos sometimes. And that's where I put it before I upload it into the internet. Then I have iDVD, and uh, I use it just to get the movies that I ripped from the from DVDs. I use it to put them into DVDs, and uh, I'm actually gonna do a review on it later. And I'm gonna show you how to download DVDs from the internet and put them on on blank DVDs, which is pretty easy. Then I got Final Cut Express, and I don't really use it that much, but I use it sometimes to customize videos and everything like that, but. I don't really know how to use it that well yet, but I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna try to learn how to use it. Then I have Adobe After Effects, and it, and I'm learning how to use it. But um, I'm not really that good at it yet. I'm only learning how to make videos and stuff like that. But hopefully, I'll get better at it. And I already got a couple of videos up using Adobe After Effects, and it's actually pretty cool. I, I would recommend trying it at least once. Then I got Adobe Photoshop. And um, everybody knows what that is, it's just to make customized pictures and everything like that. It's pretty good. It's not that hard to use either. Then I got Adobe Bridge, which I barely use, but it's where I keep my presets for Adobe After Effects and everything like that. Then I have Microsoft Word, and uh, that's just where I write my documents for school and stuff like that. Everybody knows what that is. And then I also have Microsoft PowerPoints for where I make PowerPoints for my school. And uh, it's pretty good too. Then I got GetTube, and what GetTube is, it's just, um, here, let me open it up real quick. And anyway, um, yeah. 
so you pick first you pick on what uh, browser you're in and I am in I am in um, Firefox so you just click on it and uh, what it does is that it downloads YouTube videos for you so if you're already on the page you just click on it and hey then guys, as you can today see I will be showing you how to make your screen there you go and as you can see it already knows the name of the website you just gotta be on the page and as you can see and then you just click download and it just starts downloading it's really quick and easy all you gotta go, all you gotta do is go to the page that you want to the video that you wanted to download and then you just click on it like that and it starts downloading it's pretty quick it only takes a few minutes maybe like five not even as you can see right now it's doing it pretty quick I'm just gonna close it up because you don't need to see this. I was just showing you. So yeah, it's pretty easy. I like it. All right. So my next application is App Zapper, and uh, what App Zapper does is just deletes an application, and it doesn't only delete it; it deletes anything associated with that application. So let me just show you real quick. And uh, all right, I'm just gonna get anything, whatever. Ca um, Awaken. So I just put it in the App Zapper, and it deletes Awaken, and it deletes anything that's linked to Awaken. So that's pretty cool. I recommend you using it for deleting apps because sometimes there's you delete the app but you don't delete other stuff so it just clunks up on your computer and wastes space. So that's Ooh. retarded. Then my next one is Grand Perspective. And uh, I recommend I definitely recommend having this. What it does is that let me just pick something quick. Uh, downloads and then you scan what it does is that it scans the folder that you want it to and it shows up and it shows up like this on what you have in that folder so it just shows you everything that you have in the folder and it tells you the size and everything and the bigger the square the bigger the the thing is like this one's 365 and this one's 256 and it just shows you everything and it's it's actually really good it's pretty cool there's just some stuff that you, you haven't seen before. Then this is my QuickTime player, and it's what I used to play videos. It's okay. Then I go to my stacks, and I got my game stack, and I got some games. I got Halo, Call of Duty 4, Frets on Fire is the same thing as Guitar Hero. Then I got uh, I Alert You. That's not really a game. I don't know what that's on there. Liquid Mac is just it's a fun. It's re, it's a, whatever. It just it's just. You just move the little things around by tilting your computer left and right, or you can t tilt it upside down and then it tilts upside down. And you can change the color. You can do what, pretty much whatever you want with it. Rigidness, you know, just to make it go crazy. It's pretty fun, you know. I used it a few times. Look at me, it's whatever. I don't really use it. I can't use it right now because I'm already using the camera. Then I got Need for Speed Carbon, fun game. It's pretty good, but it takes up a lot of space. Then I got Plants vs. Zombie, which I just found recently, and it's a really fun game. I recommend downloading it, and it's not even that much space. Then this is what I use to play Nintendo 64 games. It's pretty good. And then Toad Mania is the same as... Well, here, let me show you. So Toad Mania, pretty much what it is, is just... Uh, another mm, retarded application and you what you do is you tilt your computer left and right so it's pretty cool and yeah I know right now it's really easy but it gets really really hard so all you gotta do is tilt it left and right and after a while it gets really really hard then the next game is tunnel and with this one you also use the computer you go left and right it's actually pretty hard this one's pretty hard a lot right now it's pretty easy but like I said it gets a lot harder and then when you're done you can just start again then my next game is world of goo and that's a really good game I recommend downloading that one too it's fun and it doesn't really take out that much space then I got my documents folder and I got my downloads folder and this is my trash can that's pretty much all I have in my doc and uh, thanks for watching I'm gonna post more videos more videos soon so just make sure to stay for that and uh, comment rate and subscribe and 
See you later.